The following experiment is extremely dangerous and should never be attempted by anyone under any circumstances whatsoever. No matter how safe you think you're being, please do not attempt this experiment yourself. Hello and welcome to Season 7 of Microwave Me. I'm going to be microwaving a special jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. But I'm going to need some supplies first. One of them is I'm going to need a pumpkin. None of these pumpkins quite do it. I already have light bulb, candle, and tin foil and steel wool. I just need pumpkin and some ping pong balls so it can shoot fire out its mouth. There's a jack-o'-lantern, but I'm obviously not going to just be doing a hollowed out pumpkin. Also, I'm going to be sticking a red light bulb in it to make it light up pretty cool. But that's not all. Remember the ping pong balls I bought at the store? Them babies are going in too. How cool would that be when fire shoots out of its mouth? And there's the tin foil. I'm gonna find a way to work that in. And here we are at the super secret location of Microwave Me Season 7 debut. For Halloween, I'm gonna be doing that jack o' lantern. And I'm going to be doing it in well, what better than a Goblin King, Jareth, the Kenmore beast of a microwave. And not only that, a new safety feature for Season 7. Got a fire extinguisher just in case anything gets out of hand. And there's a lantern. Still got the old lantern. And for starting things from a distance, still got the remote arm. There we go. A few candles to set the ambiance. And how long should I put it in for? I'll say 3110 for Halloween. I think this one I'm going to start with the remote arm. Okay, going in for the kill.
It's obvious that this is going nowhere. Instead, I'm going to be doing it in Sarah, the sharp half pint microwave. I had to radically change the design of the pumpkin because with the format that it was in, the red light bulb not only did not go off, but it didn't even light. Absolutely nothing was happening. So I stuffed this thing full of tin foil and full of steel wool. Because really, I just want the ping pong balls to go. All right, 15 minutes.
Well, that only took an absurdly long amount of time. Alright, so uh, that's that. Now let's examine the post product. A very, very well done pumpkin. Oh my, is that a well done pumpkin. Oh. The light bulbs are still intact the pumpkin uh, obviously roasted and toasted and that was a really really long wait for that but I would say it was definitely worth the wait now let's examine each individual item Determine whether or not it's smart to microwave. Okay. Light bulbs. No. Tin foil. No. Steel wool. No. Pumpkin. Possibly. Ping pong balls. Definitely no. So when you combine all this together, what you get is a deadly idea, which is, I would say, quite fitting considering it's a Halloween special. As you can see, there's nothing left of the ping pong balls. So basically what I'm saying is that you should never do a jack-o'-lantern in your microwave. Keep the jack-o'-lantern as a decoration for Halloween and just use a regular candle inside of it. 
None of that fancy crap with ping pong balls or steel wool or so if you can get light bulbs to work in its eyes, that would be pretty cool. Anything that makes that kind of fire combined is definitely a horrible idea. So, this is Captain Microwave signing off, saying I hope you liked the Season 7 debut. And I'll be back with another episode that shouldn't take nearly this long for something cool to happen. Happy Halloween, everyone! <laughs>